all right welcome to my channel my name is Osman so since my last video dropped, dropped which was like four days ago I haven't dropped a new video because I wasn't feeling that well but currently I'm okay now all right so Charlie did this story I'm, I'm about to share with you in Charlie well, I, hey, feel me like I beg you I beg you at God okay if you're a man okay and then your wife or, or your girlfriend okay, gives birth okay I beg you do a DNA test okay I beg you do a DNA test hey. okay so this story is, is about a man okay which I'll show you the video okay but then let me give you some gist okay so this man said that he was married to a woman here in Ghana okay and so he went to the US and later he came back when, and so when he came back the wife okay told him that oh she's pregnant so Charlie as the husband he just said okay okay ah now the woman gives birth okay and then the, the, the child is been like 15 years so it means that they might be like like let's say like 17 years or so okay. ah, so the demand said that oh, the woman brought an idea that oh like they should send the kid to the US okay and then so the man said he agreed because back then he was down financially so he didn't say anything essentially the child whom he thought was his and then the wife to the airport where well, they were having fun and we learned the things okay and so the wife and wife and then the kid whom he thought was his they, they left to the US okay so, ah, he said ah, he was there like about a month later the mother of his father his, his mother-in-law called him and was like your wife is not coming to Ghana Yes, and that is she's married to the man who impregnated her. Like really, whoa! Like so it means that the the, the wife and the mother knew that the child whom the the man thought was his wasn't his, and the wife was having was still chatting with her with her ex, even though she's married to a man. Really? Alright, so let's watch that video, okay? Because I don't want to talk that much, okay? Let's watch that video, and and then the the, the, the video I'll show to you is a video from Joy Joy FM, was a show which they hosted, and we talked about having a DNA test, and people came to share their stories. Share their story. Okay. Alright, so before we go, okay? You know, there's the, 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 the saying that what I am because we are Ubuntu. Yes. Now, my goal by the end of this is to get 1,000 subscribers. Okay. So, if you're watching this video, okay, kindly of like for me, comment, and most important, subscribe for me. Yes. I can't do it alone. It's so, so, let's go to that video. Come back and then we'll talk about it. All right. Mama, uh, how are you doing too? Oh, Edward. You're doing well at, um, uh, how do you say, uh, defending the ladies. Could you? Yeah. This is one of the worst experiences a man could have on earth. Hmm. You've got to experience it before you can discuss it. Listen, some of us would advocate for an ally to be passed in parliament where before any man signs a birth certificate he really makes sure a DNA test is done. Why am I saying this? You are married okay for almost two or three decades. The first child 
most of the time, as now, you know, most people say no first child and not, you know, whatever. Let's put that aside. But we've come to realize that most of the time, the ladies of late do not end up in a relationship with their exes before getting married. Mm. You see them married, but still having an affair with their exes. And most of the time, their first child happened to be the children of their exes. Mm. Like what someone saying, it gets to a point the man feels or realizes that his child is not mine based on some one or two signs. But we try to live in denial hmm. to think, you know, the, 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 the disgrace or the embarrassment that comes with it. So let me just accept it. Edward, and is this what happened, happened to you? Has this happened to you? I'm speaking from experience. Can you tell us what happened? I was married, traveled to the US, came back. A few months later, the woman said she was pregnant. And I thought that was mine. Because that was my legally married woman. Mm. Okay. 15 years down the line, 15, one five years down the line, got to realize that that child wasn't my biological child. Wow. How did you realize? Interestingly, the gentleman in question has won a visa lottery to the U.S., mm -hmm. has relocated from Ghana to the U.S., mm -hmm. and was in constant communication with my spouse without my knowledge. To the extent of he, the man remitting, the man knows very well that the child was dead. Mm. So when he got his documentations and everything in the U.S., he decided to file for his daughter, which apparently I thought was mine. Mm. Now the lady found out and you know came up with a strategy to tell me, oh. Don't you think it would be better for us to go to the U.S. where the girl would get a better life and all those things? Mm. I was financially down to by then. So who was I to say no? I drove them to the airport. I mean, there was nothing. There was, there was nothing. We went to the airport, had lunch and everything, thinking my wife was going to the U.S. and back. A month later, the mother calls me in Ghana to tell me, oh, uh, I was sorry to tell you, uh, my daughter has gone to find out the man who impregnated her, and then they've gone to resettle in the U.S. Oh, I, was, I don't understand this. That, uh, the child is not yours, it's for the man in the U.S. Mm. You, it's been about three years now, eh? and I'm struggling to oh. come back to myself. Edward, I, I can only imagine how you must Three years that. now, eh? and I'm still struggling to be the man I was. I lost confidence in myself. Everything, everything. H has she given any explanation to you personally? For the she... most annoying thing is that she's really, you know, gotten off communication. Even the child, I can't even talk to the child. Luckily, I have friends and family around me who are keeping me moving Edward. and I'm about to start a new life. Edward, you're a very strong man. I, 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 hmm, I don't know how anyone else would have got through what you've been through. Hey, how wicked can this man be? And then to think that her mother also was part of her plot? Like, this is too wicked. Like, this is wickedness to the highest degree. I think even Satan comes for lessons from this woman and then her mother because just this level of wickedness is too much. <laughs> I'll be like, this is too much. So I think, yes, now I 
really agree with the man that it should be a law passed where as a man you do a DNA when your child is born because come on like you can't invest so much into someone else's child and then one day they'll come for a child okay hey. and like, like like the emotional investment like I mean like you let's leave the money out because the time 15 years all right so let me make this one okay one let's get this clear now okay one women are more loyal to their feelings down to their down to your sacrifices yes you can buy a house or whatever it is okay but still if she wants to leave you she'll leave you okay two women do not love men yes you can argue with your phone okay if you don't agree with me refer to me number one or my or my first statement too much wickedness in women and i think this explains why women do not like women because they know how wicked they can be or how wicked they are Bro. and then to even think of let's say like she in she being married she was talking to an ex like this and no no like once you get married i think you should cut I mean, like stop talking to your ex because you are a married man or a, a, a married woman and as the, the man rightly said okay there are married women who are still talking to their ex and then even they are, they worry their ex that they want their exes to be sleeping with them and i'll show you stories where men that are married okay came to talk and confess to one man on Twitter who's doing very well, he's talking about he's giving advice on relationships to married men and, and who are in relationships. Okay, so once one time he asked them to share their stories of how their exes, I mean, the men should share stories of how their exes are worrying them to eat them. And then Charlie, the stories, trying to even say that Charlie, their exes even come and they the, the thing for free. Charlie. Not like it's too much right so as i said earlier okay my aim or my goal is to get to 1000 subscribers by, by the end of the year okay so as i saying goes i am because we are yes ubuntu i can't do it alone like this view video okay comment and most importantly subscribe yes you can also share your story if, if you had those stories before or maybe a relative or whoever it is that you had it from okay just share with me as well let's get interactive all right so thanks for watching once again most importantly to me subscribe comment like this video as well